Okay, some of you who've been uh, watching my channel um, may have noticed that I have been using um, this device. And uh, this is the Zion Z1 Smooth Gimbal. Um, been really useful for uh, doing steady shots, steady cam type shots out in the field and has really been a great purchase. Definitely a good investment. Had it for about a year or so now. Um, but one of the problems that I have had with it has been related to the fact that it's been really difficult um, recently because it's just not stayed level. And of course, what you really want a gimbal to do is stay level and steady. So, um, so what apparently happens after time, if it gets knocked significantly, um, or if there have been like significant changes in temperature that can affect its ability to um, to just stay um, stay aligned with the horizon so um, I've been trying to find out how to recalibrate it and I've made one or two attempts and I've looked at various videos most of them to be uh, well most of them actually in Chinese <laughs> and uh, not being a Chinese speaker um, I haven't found them very easy to understand I mean it's perfectly reasonable it is a Chinese product so that's fair enough um, but I don't speak Chinese I don't read Chinese and um, although I've found a couple of um, a couple of tutorials on calibration in English they didn't really help me greatly one of them I think was actually wrong it was just adjusting the angle in one of the modes rather than actually calibrating it so eventually I did find out how to calibrate and I spent the whole evening yesterday doing this so I thought while it's fresh in my mind I'll show you just in case it becomes relevant for you sometimes so if you're not interested in gimbals and stuff this is going to be of no use to you um, but this um, what I want to show is, um, is just a, just what I went through in order to, to get to the point where I could calibrate it successfully. So what you need to do uh, is go to the Zion, um, Zion, not Zion, ZionTech.com website and they have a tools section in there and the tutorials and um, I'll put a link to that uh, in the description below. And once you find your way to that, you need to download two things. First, you need to download the USB driver. Now, do make sure you do that. Um, this is for a Mac, by the way. I don't know how to do this for Windows, but I think all the Windows tools are there as well. So it'll be a similar procedure. But you need to download the USB driver for the Mac and install that. Now, once that's installed, you don't need to keep redoing it. You also then need to download and install the tools, the Mac OS X uh, tools for it. And uh, if you don't install the USB driver first, the tools program simply will not detect uh, will not detect your gimbal. So assuming that you've done that, what you then do uh, with your gimbal switched off, uh, you connect it using the um, micro USB port here, um, connect it to your computer. And uh, I'm assuming again that you've installed the tools, uh, then you can go to from your applications folder where it will undoubtedly have been installed just run up Zion gimbal tools okay and that brings up this um, just get rid of that in the background uh, that then brings up this calibration program now you'll notice uh, this is ghosted out at the moment the calibration thing and uh, so I need to turn on the gimbal at this point Okay, gimbal is now turned on and then click open here and it's detected straight away that this is um, a smooth gimbal and the calibration button is now active and able to be clicked and when I click that what it will do it will take me through uh, six different steps or orientations that the gimbal needs to be in for it to be able to calibrate it and it will come up in this area here uh, with a um, with a picture showing how each one should be orientated. Now to start with this probably feels a bit like wrestling with an octopus but it's not that bad it's worth actually um, persevering with it and um, I've come up with a kind of technique uh, for trying to do it reliably that I'll explain as we go. So uh, to start off I'm just going to click cal um, calibration here and it'll come up with the first step for us. 
So the picture is showing me how to orient it. So uh, firstly, well, I've, I've found it best to orient the handle first, then the uh, this first axis that wants to be pointed towards me for this particular one, then the third axis needs to be pointing downwards and the base plate towards the gimbal. So I'll hold it in that orientation and it will go through step one and when it's happy with step one it'll just automatically progress to step two and tell me what it wants me to do next. Uh, some of these steps may take a while uh, there seems to be no great reasons uh, uh, for that. Um, some of them are really quick and, uh, and it just varies each time. So we'll let it do its thing. <clears throat> I may need to cut some of this video out if it takes too long. There we go, we're into step two. So now I'm just going to turn the whole thing over like that so that the handle is now facing me. Uh, the first axis is, uh, axis is facing away, the third axis is facing upwards, and um, the base plate is downwards. So I'm just going to hold it in this orientation. It's done that. And again, I'm going to turn it so that the whole handle is facing away, the first axis towards me. The third axis uh, tucks in horizontally, and the base plate now needs to be facing downwards like so. And I found it's better if you actually hold the base plate down uh, like that. Okay, we'll just leave that for a while. Oh, it's done that. So step four, we just need to turn the base plate the other way up. And then again, let it do its thing. Step five, I'm going to turn the whole thing, handle, uh, downwards. First axis up in axis up in the air. The second, the third one, the final one, pointing towards me, and the base plate rotating away from the gimbal. Hold that down flat. Just seems to help for some reason. Oh, we're ready for step six, and I just need to rotate the base plate to orientate it facing the gimbal. Now there we go, and it's done. I get a nice tick there. And once it's done, I can just turn it off and um, unplug it, and it's ready to go. So you can just set it up uh, as you normally would for your gimbal. Uh, for me, I'd need to put on the counterweight. should be ready now to just plug in my phone, which I'm just going to do. Turn it on. Hold down the power button and there we are. We are ready to go. Gimbal has been calibrated. So that's it. Um, that's how you calibrate your Zion Z1 Smooth Seat Gimbal. I hope you found that useful. Uh, if so, give us a like and um, share and subscribe and all those sorts of things. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.